you just debuted a banger of a song. Yeah. Wow. Can we get can we get some yeah yeah some clapping oh. some yeah, trapping yeah, yeah, yeah. something some some yeah 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 yeah. Your single uh, was a banger. It is titled Dynasty Forever. Yep. Um, wow. First of all, how did that track come about? Um, you got a Wu Tang beat in, in, in yeah. the background. Mm -hmm. Please walk us through how this uh, whole process well, happened. I'm, I'm a big fan of hip hop mm -hmm. in general. Um, mm -hmm. Wu Tang was one of my favorite favorite uh, hip hop group. As you, as I posted it up on my Instagram, I kind of you know wrote a long post on there, and people can go on there and pretty much you know understand what I'm talking about. You know, a lot of times, you know, their music had you know referred to me and in a way to where my family is, you know, a big group of family and blah, blah, blah. So, but yeah, it, and that beat, you know, that triumph beat, I, I was actually nervous because that that beat and that Wu-Tang, boy, it's just, you can't mess with that if it ain't done right. But it was my way of, of showing homage, you know, to, for me, one of the greatest hip-hop groups in the world. And, and, and I mean, iconic legends and i wanted to you know to to vibe to to that so you know uh got with my group here you know uh uh my team uh but i was uh, you know frank ward you know with uh what is it hide me uh higher anarchy. higher anarchy higher anarchy okay so i posted it up on there but anyways you know i'm 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 uh you know i used i just play around rapping right mm -hmm. and i never had the confidence to where you know, and here's a guy that always had that confidence, right? But for music, I never had that, you know, confidence like I can, you know, possibly do it. And so, you know, this was one of my goals for 2024 was I just wanted to drop something, you know, because for years I felt like the dynasty, we never really got our flowers. Mm -hmm. And if nobody was going to talk about our flowers the way that should be, you know, put some respect on the name. Well, hell, I'm just going to go ahead and do it for them. Right. Right, do it for us and so forth. So, but I want to thank all the fans. And when I say all the fans worldwide, on that feed, man, I've never seen so much fire, you know, uh, uh, replies and so forth. And, and, you know, and then I had what really made my night was when I came back and uh, the Oos uh, Method Man texted me. I saw that. Yeah. So he texted me. And, dude, I, I was like a, you know, I, I was like a, a damn a little kid in the candy store. Like, oh, I can't. <laughs> you know, this is where I'm a fan on the opposite side. Right. And, dude, he, he just gave me he just gave me so much love on that, you know. Appreciate what I did, you know, in, 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 in the wrestling business. You know, and continue on to the, you know, to my boys and the family, and so forth. And you know, he said that his family was a big fan of, you know, myself. So you know, I'm I'm big shout out to Method Man for, for taking the time because I just wanted to hear his feedback or any member of the Wu Tang wow. Clan. So, so I'm all fired up now. You know, we, we got what well, we got, uh, Frank. How many in, in a? Well, we got about four already. You you heard most yes, of them. Yes, sir. And, and, you know, this is awesome because I was talking to you about, um, you know, you, you're going to make an album, right? Yeah. Um, so I, w I was saying, man, you got to have some features on there because you and Method Man, you guys got to collab, which is obvious. But then you had said that you don't want any features on your first album because you want to do all these songs by yourself. You want to kind of show what you can do. And I think that is badass, like that you wouldn't even re uh, want to rely on any features. Um, yeah, well, again, it's kind of like my work ethic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, not not to knock or say anything to discredit any of the great hip-hop artists, uh, some of them that, you know, sampling some of their beats, you know. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, again, I just want to, you know, at this time and age of myself, it's always been a to-do list for me, and I just want to see if I can do it by myself. You know, as we go... And then, you know, maybe the second album I'll probably, you know, open up now because I then I, I kind of feel like I've earned that respect to be able or that, you know, that door to be able to walk in with some of the greats because I'm walking into a whole new different industry. You know, all I know is I love music. 
I love hip hop. I love island reggae. I love R&B reggae, soul reggae. And I just want to venture in to the world of music. So, you know, again, this is nothing. It's, it's a personal ride for Rikishi. And I think all the fans are ready to join that ride with you. And uh, fans, man, send in your feedback. If you haven't listened to the song, it's all over his social medias. Go on there, and it's Dynasty Forever, um, and it, it is a banger. And you know what? Not even not even blowing smoke up your ass, Big Keish. It, it, it is a good song, and we've already talked about this. Your yeah. delivery is dope. And I, and I can't wait to see what you do with the song. Um, uh, I, I heard there might be a music video in the works, which I think is going to be great. Yeah. 